Woods. I am an occupational therapist and owner of Threshold Therapeutic. Welcome to the continued series with the Home Care OT on Patient Lifts. I am back with my friends at CareWorks Mobility in Charlotte, North Carolina to continue our discussion on patient lifts. We have already discussed the most common two types of patient lifts, which are Hoyer lifts and sit to stands. There is another option. The type of option is called an overhead lift. The lift behind me is one type of overhead lift. This is a freestanding unit, but the concept of overhead lifts is there is no system to drive. There's nothing on wheels that once you put the person in the lift that you have to move around. An overhead lift is designed to complete the same function, helping a client move from one place to another without someone having to push them while they're in a unit. So in an overhead lift, the concept is the person goes in the swing, you press the button to lift them up, and then they are moved using some sort of pulley system back and forth with very little caregiver effort. This is ideal for caregivers who may have their own medical conditions. Maybe they have pain or they have arthritis. They have some weakness, which might make it difficult to maneuver someone around. This completely eliminates that need. So there are three types of overhead lifts. As I mentioned, the one behind me is a freestanding lift. These types of lifts stand on anywhere between two and four legs. These are rental property and retirement community friendly as there are no nuts, bolts, or screws into the floor or to the ceiling. You can put them up, take them down. There's no damage to the carpet, no damage to the ceiling. The second type of lift is a suspension lift. Suspension lifts have a point of contact with a plate on the floor, a second point of contact with a plate on the ceiling, and those are mounted with tension. Imagine a curtain rod that you're gonna twist to make the tension go, go tighter um, or longer, and you would adjust that floor to ceiling, and that's what supports the lift. The third type of lift is a ceiling mounted unit that would actually get installed into the beams on the ceiling and would be stationary there for the same function. The concept for all of them are the same. Let me show you on this model how it works. So now I have my client Morgan set up and ready to go. She has the wheelchair parked right next to the bed. She is already sitting on the sling. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is use my remote control to bring the unit. This is the motorized unit that comes down to lift. I'm gonna bring that down into place. Now that the unit is in place, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the sling. So first I'm going to take the hooks behind the shoulders and hook those on. Want to make sure that colors are matching across the shoulders. And then I'm going to take the straps that are underneath the legs. I'm going to crisscross those straps anytime I'm in this type of lift. And hold those on as well. One benefit about this type of lift is that this remote controlled unit can be operated by either the caregiver or the client. So if your client has the capabilities to operate the remote, they can go ahead and lift themselves. Otherwise, easy as the press of a button, we're gonna go ahead and lift. So now that we are up high enough, this is where you're really gonna see the difference between a standard sit to stand or Hoyer lift and an overhead lift because now that it's time to move over to the bed, this is all the effort it requires is one handed slowly moving over to the bed on this pulley system. Make sure you're clearing your feet. Now that we're positioned exactly where we need to be, we're going to go ahead and lower down. Okay, now that we are fully lowered, I can go ahead and unhook the sling from the unit, lift it away, push it out of the way, and then we'll be set to go for next time. So this is our introduction to overhead lifts. If you have questions, concerns, you wanna learn more information, please head over to our blog at thresholdot.com for more information. And as always, if you have questions regarding what is gonna be the best type of lift device, for your loved one, please seek the consultation of a experienced in-home therapist. They can guide you through that process to figure out what type of device is gonna work best for you. Thanks so much for watching the Home Care OT. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date with our content. And for more information, head on over to our blog at thresholdot.com.